Um, I want, just want to welcome you that you are first time here in this, in this church, you are not strangers here, but uh, we are all together in the Jesus name and we are families. Now, my, 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 my sermon today is about the positions to provision, but before we, before we, uh, before we begin with that, I just want to ask you, what is the most important thing in your life today? What is the most important, what's the most important thing in your life? What is the, the, what is the really matter in, in your life today? Because it is very important that, that uh, according, according to this, But it's very important, according to this, that we know what happens uh, in our life today. And I just want to know that uh, what is important for you today in your life? Yeah? What is the most important thing in your life today? And because when you don't, when you cannot answer this, 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 this particular questions, um, there is a you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't stand in a in a very uh, secure platform, you know, because when something happens, you just don't know where you go. When something, uh, when, when you, you face problems, when you face difficulties, when you face, I just don't know what you face, but when you don't know what is the most important thing in your life, you will be unsecure in your life. You are unsecure in your faith, and you, you don't know just what, why I have to follow Jesus. I just want to ask you even why you come to church on Sunday. Why you have to, to come to church and to hear the words of God today. But what I want to say to you, according to the Gospels today, what I want to say to you today, you know what the important things, what the important matters for our God today? What the most important thing for God today is you. Once again, I said to you, the most important thing for God today is you. For God, would ra He would rather die, listen to me, for God, He would rather die instead of not being together with you. And He did it. How He did it? He sent Jesus, His Son, His own Son. And then we know in, in the Bible, Jesus is the, 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 the visible image of the invisible God. So when you want to know God, when you know, want to know your father, you just, just don't, listen to me. So many young people today, they just don't know who Jesus is actually. And then and you just, just walk and walk and walk and sometimes you just don't know. You just quote everything, everything, but you never quote what Jesus said to you. Jesus said like this. He is the image of the invisible God. So when you want to know your God exactly, see Jesus. And Jesus did it on the cross. He would rather die instead of being together with him. He did it. So the most important thing for God today, this time, is you and me. He, you are and, and I am the, the most important thing for God today. That's why he gave his son on the cross. Die for you and for me. Die for you sin and my sin. So that you and I can be adopted in his beloved. Amen. Now the, 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 the questions, of course, to all of you, people, young people, listen. You will be the generation that will change something in this, in this, in this, in this, in this, in this, in this generation. And I want you to, 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 to really stand firm in this, in this platform. When you are so mad with God, a God matter, a God is very important in your life. Right? Ask, ask yourself. You don't have to ask us ask, ask today, but because God loves you as you are and not as you're supposed to be. Whatever happens in your life, whatever happens in the past, God loves you anyway. He already forgives you. He forgives you from your, from your uh, past sins, your present sins, even your future sins. You're already forgiven. You are forgiven, you I want to live, again to say to you this, the gospel said, the Bible said, you are forgiven. You are forgiven. To what? 
through Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. So today, that's why, again, what I want to say to you, as I see you, as God see you today, when God sees us today, you are without sin. Amen. You are without sin. You are, you are not, you are not like red, blooded, that full with sin. It's not that. But you are wider than the snow. Snow is outside now. Can you imagine? Can you re when 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 snow come, when snow fall, take it. I, I I dare you to take the snow and confess it with God and say, God. You so love me so that you said through your son Jesus Christ, I am wider than the snow. Amen. But that is the but that is the but that is the fact that you and I have today. You and I so love, we are being beloved, and, and in front of God's eyes, we have no sins. Amen. Now, because you don't have sins, God positioned you to, to receive all the provision that He already uh, that He already uh, prepared for you, that He already installed for you. I just want to open that you can see your God today, people. But you are not alone in this world. You are not alone. Wherever you go, you cannot separate it with Jesus Christ. No, you cannot. You cannot separate it with Jesus Christ. You always together with Him. Even in your study, even in your work, whatever you do, you still connected together with Jesus. Jesus will never leave you alone. You leave Jesus, yes, but Jesus never leave you. Amen? He will never let you alone today. Say to your neighbors, Jesus never let you alone. That's why He, pro that's why he positioned you to the, to the position in it, so that you receive all the provision that you, you, you will have. I just don't know what you need. You can name it, name it. All what you need, you can name it all. But pro provision from God is more than abundant for you. It's more than abundant. And God can, and God not depend on the, on the, and on the economic system of this world. God don't depend on the situation of financial in, in its all, whole, 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 whole world. No. Romans 4 verse 17, it's like this. Romans 4 verse 17. Is it written? I have made you a father of many nations. This is to Abraham. He is our father in the sight of God in whom he believed. Look at this. The God who gives life to the dead. God lives life, life to the dead. He don't depend on, on nothing. He, when he said to the dead thing, you go live. Life is there. And look at this. And calls into being things that were not. The people outside there said, from nothing come nothing. But God said, when I speak, from nothing come anything. He just speak. The earth come, universe come, the stars come, Alpha Centauri, everything comes. Only by speaking, people. Only by speaking. Because of this, the God who gives life to the dead and calls into being things dead were not. Something is nothing there. But when God speaks, happens. Amen? Amen? That is your God. That is your God. The God who gives life to the dead and calls him to be things that were not. Our universe was created by God only as he speak up. He said heavens. He said waters. He said everything. You can, you can read it in Genesis 1. Are you doubted the God that can create it, something from nothing? Church, don't take the liars that the word give you. The word said, from nothing come nothing. Because they thought like that. But God calls them to be things that were not. <coughs> That's why He gave it to Jesus and Jesus gave it to us. That's why we are over the natural, the natural system. We, you and I, are over the natural system. We are not depend on this natural system. No. 
You are not depend on this world, but you are depend on your God. Amen. Amen. This thing cannot in influence you. The, the, the system in this, this world it cannot influence you so much because God don't, God don't depend on this. God don't depend on that. That's why God tell, uh, Jesus tell to us in Mark 11, 23. Look at this, Mark 11, 23. So I want to make a base uh, so that you can, uh, the, the base platform so that you can know, oh, okay, I am the position in provision. So that you don't have to be afraid of nothing again, okay? This series that I talk to you from, from uh, uh, only, this is the three, three weeks. So that you don't have to, don't have to afraid of nothing in your life, okay? Mark 11, 23, truly I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, go, Throw yourself into the sea and does not doubt in their heart, but believe that what they say will happen, it will be done for them. Amen. Amen, church. Can you say to the mountain, I don't know what your mountains today is, but you can speak to your mountains and he will go and he will throw to the sea. But you have to believe. Believe in what? Believe in the only one. Jesus Christ. Believe that He already did a perfect work on the cross. Believe it, people. Just believe it. Believe. Once again, truly I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, go through yourself into the sea and does not doubt in their heart, but believes that what they say will happen, it will be done for them. Amen. <coughs> What kind of mountains that you have today? What kind of mountains? I dare to challenge you. Speak to your mountains in Jesus' name. And this mountain will vanish from your sight. Amen? Amen. Speak it. Don't, don't take... Open the Bible just like the Bible. <coughs> Open these this words like... A, Jesus don't say like, Oh, okay, probably... He doesn't say... Jesus didn't say that you have to be holy. He didn't say that you have to do this and this and this. He didn't say that you have to level up your faith so that you can do this. No, you don't have to level up anything, nothing. You don't have, have, don't have to. What you have to do is that you believe. Amen? Amen, amen. You don't have to level up. What kind of level up that you need today? Look at this. Does not doubt. Are you down or not down? When you down, you cannot do nothing. But when you believe, believe on what then? Believe on the perfect work of Jesus Christ on the cross. Because on the cross, Jesus said, it is finished. Right, church? Speak to your mountains. Say to your neighbors, speak to your mountains today. Speak to your mountains. Speak to your mountains. Don't afraid la. Okay? Don't afraid about nothing. Afraid make you old, you know? You cannot you cannot even you cannot even add something in your life when you're afraid. You cannot. You cannot. And look at this. This is the word of Jesus to all of us today. Speak to your mountain and your mountain will move. And and you know something? Jesus said this because they know that as you, <coughs> because he put the power, the divine power in all of us. Amen. Amen. When you said you are Christian, Jesus put the divine power in all of us. And, and it's including you and me. When we receive Jesus as our Savior and we receive him as our Lord and you, 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 you confess it, Jesus put it in your heart. Jesus put it, the power. What is the power of, of God? The Holy Spirit. Our God is the Spirit. Our God is the Spirit. You and I are spirit being, actually. Amen? Because when we when we meet God again, it's not you like you today, but your spirit being is met with God. Your spirit being. And He put it the Holy Spirit. Look at this, Ephesians 1, verse 13. I just want to open to you all that you have actually... You have a divine power that you never, and 
it's, it's very sadly that a lot of Christian people, true Christian, that they don't move with this uh, 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 strength, the power. They don't move with it. And I want to open it to you today. Look at this. And you also were included in Christ when you hear the message of truth like this today. The message of truth, the gospel of yourself. You know what the gospel meaning is? The gospel, the meaning of gospel is the good news. Amen? Amen. So that when you go out from church and you still sad, it means you don't hear the good news. Amen? When you, you, when you always heard that God will punish you when you sin, God will kill you when you sin, that's not the good news. The good news is today that I already opened it to you. God loves you. He'd rather die instead not to, be, not to be become together with you. That is the good news. And He loves you as you are and as you're supposed to be. Amen? The good news is that said to Jesus Christ on the cross, Jesus said, it is finished through his covenant of blood. As the blood shed, your sin already washed away. Amen. <coughs> your sin already washed away. The sins is not yours. The sins already punished on the cross. Amen, church? This is the good news. So when you come to church, please hear the good news. Choose to hear the good news. Because when you hear much more, I will talk uh, uh, much more about the good news. Your faith will grow. <coughs> and you believe will grow. And as you believe, when you speak to your mountains, the mountains will throw up to the sea. In, uh, to the sea. So Ephesians, Ephesians, look at this, Ephesians. And you also are included in Christ when you hear the message of truth. I preach always every Sunday to you. This is the message of truth. The gospel of your salvation. You are already saved people. Amen. So you don't have to worry. When the rapture comes, you are in. Don't believe the liars that you see in YouTube. Okay. I tell always, uh, I always tell you. In YouTube you see the rapture. What happened in the rapture? Like this, okay? And, and suddenly rapture happens and some people's are some people's are left behind. But the pastor is already rapture, is, is, uh, is, is included, included in, the, in the rapture. I think actually the pastor, when, when there's people left behind, the wrong is to the pastor. Amen. Actually the pastor cannot be raptured. Because when the people still left behind, he teach not the true gospel of God. Amen. Amen, church. <coughs> because the rapture, how cannot you cannot be raptured when you are already saved? How you cannot be raptured when you are not when you are not having any sins? How are you going to be raptured? We all will be raptured. I mean, Jesus again in the second time. Amen? Amen. Amen. You are included. You will be there. You don't have to be worried about that. Just see your Jesus. Okay? Look at this. When you believe, look, okay? It's, it's very simple. Christianity is very simple. When you believe, believe on what? Believe on the gospel of your salvation. Believe on Jesus Christ. When you believe, you were marked in Him with a seal. What kind of seal? A promise, Holy Spirit. When you believe, when you believe, listen, the Holy Spirit marked you with a seal. This is the seal from the Holy Spirit. And then it cannot be just taken from you. It's, it cannot be. It will be marked in you. It, it will be, be it's like a seal in you today. So as God see you, there is the Holy Spirit, and He know you are His. And the Holy Spirit is not like, like the old covenant, where you do sins, and He goes. And when you got good again, okay, He comes again. It's not like that. He will permanently in your life. Amen? Amen. The Holy Spirit will be permanent in your life. He cannot... 
go and come and go and come and go and come. It's not like that. It's a mixed gospel when you hear like this. When you hear like that, the Holy Spirit come. When you do sin, the Holy Spirit will go. When you do, when you do good again, the Holy Spirit will come again. No, sin is sin. Can you imagine that God, that Jesus Christ, <coughs> in heaven today, sitting together with God, and there is also Holy Spirit, and He got a book. Okay? With this book, He got also a pen, and He got also a tip X. <laughs> Can you imagine that? So when you you go wrong, you, you, you laugh, you laugh, but you have this this thought. You laugh. But you have this thought. When, when I do good, P, uh, Jesus with TFX, Holy Spirit give me TFX. Okay, I TFX all the, the names here. And Holy Spirit said, oh God, uh, Jesus, he, he make it good again. And, and Jesus, oh, okay, I, I, will, I will write again in the book of, of living. Do you think Jesus don't have anything to do at heaven and always correction, not the correction, correction, not the correction? Is that like that? It's a mixed gospel. But what happens today is in your life, what happens today in your life, you cannot, you cannot be separated with God because the Holy Spirit it's, it's a mark, it's a seal in you. Amen? And because the Holy Spirit is in you today, people, listen to me. Because the Holy Spirit is in you, you have the power of God in your life. Amen? Amen. 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 You have the power of God in your life today. You have the power of God in your life. That's why, because of this, Jesus said to all of us, because I leave my power, the Holy Spirit, that mark in you. This divine power is in you. In John 14, 12 until 14. Look at this. Very, very, very truly I tell you, whoever believes in me. Say it together with me. Whoever believes in me. Whoever believes in me. It's Jesus said like this, okay? Whoever believes in Jesus, whoever believes in me, not me, okay, but Jesus, you don't have to believe in me. I just preach the gospel for you. I cannot do nothing. I cannot give you method. I cannot. I cannot. But I can preach the gospel, yes, because that God gives me in my heart to, to, to preach the gospel, the good news. That every Sunday, when you come into this church, you hear the good news. God loves you. Amen. <coughs> Very true, I tell you, whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing. Amen. Can you imagine that? When you believe in Jesus and you say, I am a Christian, I believe in him, and I have a seal of the Holy Spirit. I, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit is now in me. Jesus said one thing. You will do the works I have been doing. What kind of works? Look at this. And they will do even greater things than this because I am going to the Father. And I will do whatever you ask in my name so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. You may ask me for anything in my name and I will do it. Amen? Amen. Amen. Jesus don't play words. Jesus don't play games with this. No. He don't pay nothing. He said what it exactly happens. When you believe whatever I've been doing, what kind of what, what kind of, of things that, that Jesus did? Wonderful things. I will, I will go, uh, I will open to you in uh, Mark 16. But you know, because of this, okay? I will, I will go, I am going to the Father. <coughs> because I am going to the Father. Now, Jesus is with the Father together. So when you ask him, it's not because your stand, uh, and you said because of me, because what I've done, so I can ask everything for the Father. It's not like that. But because Jesus represented you in front of the Father. Amen? He represented you in front of the Father. So whatever you said in Jesus' name, Jesus said, Father, I represented this kind of children of God in Ibisiki Hanover, whatever they ask, give them. And Father said, done deal. 
Amen. That's, that's why I asked you today, why you have to afraid about yourself? Why you have to be afraid about what you eat? Why you have to be afraid about your future? Why you have to be afraid about your financial things? Why you have to be afraid? Why we have to be afraid? Because it's done deal with the Father in Jesus' name. Because you have a representative in heaven today. And this is Jesus. And whenever you turn Jesus Christ, only the perfectness, loveliness, faithfulness, and Father loved Jesus. Because Father loved Jesus, He said, I love you also. Like I love Jesus, He loves you also. Amen. What kind of things that we we done in 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 in, in, in Jesus' name today? Look at this. Mark 16 verse 17. And these signs will accompany those who believe. Amen? Amen. Once again. And these signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons. So don't be afraid about demons. Okay? Actually demons have to be afraid about you. Because the spirit is in the spirit is within you is more powerful than any spirit. In this whole universe. Amen. You have the Holy Spirit. Why you have to be afraid? Don't fret. Look at this. What you can, we can, we can, you, you, you do in, in Jesus' name. Because the Holy Spirit is in you. In my name they will drive out demons. They will speak in new tongues. They will pick up snakes with their hands. And when they drink deadly poisons. It will not hurt them at all. That's why Jessica never happens in our life. No Jessica Indonesian, with sinus, something like that. And after, when somebody tried that for you, you cannot be there. Amen, church. Amen. <laughs> they will place their hands on sick people. Look at this. Look at this. They will place their hands on sick people, and they will get well. And they will get well. This is the signs that follow us. And we believe in Jesus Christ. God positions you today. So listen students, listen young people. You are not only called to study. You are not only called to work. You are not only called to, 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 make, to make your financial things happen and something. But you are called to do the great things that Jesus already done. Amen. Amen. Actually when there is people sick. You said, can I place my hand in you and I pray, in Jesus' name, be healed. When somebody there, you said, I will raise this dead body so that God will be glorified. Amen? Amen. It's very sad when you said, we said only, God give me this only. Yes, you have to study because you are a student. When you said you are a student, you have to study, study hard, six hours a day. Please do it. <coughs> okay? Don't only, when I have exam and I want to study uh, uh, for, uh, 24 hours you cannot do that, okay? You cannot do that. You cannot do that. <laughs> study six hours a day. But, but, but also, please, no. As you study, ask God for the wisdoms from the Holy Spirit. Not only study like, like, not only study like a Kung Fu master. <laughs> You study only like, okay, whatever the teacher said. No, ask wisdom, people. And you know the wisdom of, 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 of ours is in Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus is your wisdom. <coughs> ask Jesus, said, Holy Spirit, I want Jesus be revealed in my life so that I can have wisdom. Whatever the problem in your study, you can get it. <coughs> the problems today, why you cannot go with the note, because you try with your own physics. Try with the wisdom of God. I dare to challenge you students. Try it. So that you not only just, just, just for the, just for the know, but you know exactly what happens there. What is the problems there. Amen? You have all, but you never use it. I just don't know why. And 
don't don't thank me. Ah, but pastor, you never learn. Who said that? Until now, I learn. I read six hours a day. Six hours a day. I read. But what's that about that? If I want to hear, I just want to open to you that, that you calling as a, as a Christian young people is not only for that. God wants you to to move on, you know, to 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 go on. You 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 walk with all the potential that God put in you. Amen. Amen. So go back to John 14. Go back to John 14. Again. John 14. Verse Very truly, I tell you, whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing. But Jesus not not only until not only put the the dot until there, but and they look at this, look at this, and they will do even greater things than this. What the meaning is that is the meaning is you will do greater things than Jesus did. Alright, church. So today. This is the sign. That's why God placed everything. God placed you to become a joint higher with Him. God placed you. God, God give you a, a position so that you can receive it all. When God wants to give you, He doesn't. He, he, he doesn't like. Okay, uh, when God give me, I go to God give me something today for this week. Bless me because I go to church. You know, I heard the pastor when I go there and I. No, it's, it's not that the, the, the blessing is there for you. He just loves you as you are. He just loves you. It's, it's not depend on what you do, okay? It's not depend on what you do, but it's depend on His faithfulness. He will bless you every day, and He position you in the in the in the in the position where you can receive all the provision, so that you don't have to be afraid about nothing. And look at this. In the natural, in the natural, text, in the natural, we are positioned on terra firma. You know terra firma? Terra firma is this, of the earth, uh, of the earth, okay? In the natural, we are positioned in terra firma, but in spiritual, look at this. This is your spiritual position. You have to understand it very much, people, okay? You have to understand it. Even you are still young today. Even whatever you do today, in the in the, in the natural, yes, we are positioned on terra firma. Um, well, in sons, <coughs> you are not, not 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 in heaven yet, okay? But we, you are in earth. You are on the earth. And but in the spiritual, listen, in the spiritual, we are seated with Christ in heavenly places. Amen? You are sitting together with Jesus Christ today in the spiritual realm. That is yours. You are sitting together. Join hires with Him. This is your position. That's why the proclamation of Jesus Christ, the first thing is Zion, is Zion 9 verse 6. For to us a child is born. To us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulder, and he will be he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. The government is in Jesus Christ. But the problem is the man exchanged Adam and Eve exchanged the government, the rulers thing. Actually, you and I rule on this earth, okay? Because this, this is Jesus, and the government will be on his shoulder, and we are joined higher together with Jesus Christ today. This is your places. Together with Jesus, you join higher. You are together with him. Join higher. What Jesus did is yours. What Jesus do is Jesus does is yours. All is yours. But how can Jesus receive all these things again? The problem for us is that. In, 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 in the beginning, Adam and Eve exchanged the position with Satan. Genesis. 
Look at this, Genesis 1. Then God said, let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness, like, likeness, so that they may rule over the fish, the sea, and the birds, and so on and so on. So God created mankind in his own image, in the image of God, he created them, male and female, he created them. Amen? So, as, 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 as God created mankind, as God created Adam and Eve, the, the, the basic thing, the, 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 the aim why Adam and Eve was there is to rule. Is to rule. They have to rule things on earth. That's why, that's why Psalm 115 and 16, the highest heavens belongs to the Lord, but the earth he has given to who? Man? Mankind. But something happens as Adam and Eve exchange these this positions to the Satan. And why? That's why Satan has a rule. That's why Satan can rule all things now, have dominions now on the earth. That's why Jesus have to Jesus have to take it all so that you and I can be ruled again in this in this in this earth. And all the things can be provided for for for, 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 for all of us today. Adam and Eve give the dominion on earth to the Satan. And after this, the Satan have dominion, of course, on the earth. Rule with sin. And you know something? But God doesn't want it happens like that. That's why there is an Operation Second student. What is the Operation Second Adam? Jesus Christ was born. Jesus Christ was born. That's why in 1 Corinthians, I just want to open, open the Bible first for you. 1 Corinthians 15, 22. But Christ has indeed been raised from the dead, the first fruit of those who have fallen asleep. For since death comes through a man, the resurrection of death comes also through a man. For as in Adam, okay, in Adam all die. So in Christ, in Christ, all will be made alive. In Christ, all will be made alive. That's why Christ come today. That's why he, he made a perfect work on the cross today. You can under the sin. You know something? Under the law, under the sin, you cannot receive the provision from God. Because sin block all the blessing from God. But God, I said to you again, He wants to bless you. You would rather die instead than to come together with you. What happened then? You have to taken out from the sin. How can you be taken out from the sin? You have to be dead. You have to be dead. But when you're dead, God cannot bless you again on this earth. You have to be dominion again. You have to receive the dominion again on the earth. How can He remove it? He makes somebody dead so that you and I can live. Amen. That's why they call it, so in Christ, all will be made alive. Amen, church? Amen. That's why, because you are all made alive, the, 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 the Bible said, you are already dead for the sins once and for all. Amen? That's why sins don't have dominion anymore for you. You are under grace, you are under law. Sin don't have dominion over you anymore. You are alive in Christ. Say to your neighbors, I am alive in Christ. You are alive in Christ. You know? Through the cross, that is accomplishment of operation. Second Adam. <coughs> look at this. Your positions. Why is your position very important that you receive all the provisions from God? Galatians. Galatians. But when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth His Son, born of a woman, not a man and a woman, but a woman born under the law to redeem those who are under the law so that we might receive adoption as sons. That's why because of Jesus Christ, again I want to say to you, you are adopted in His beloved. You are adopted as the son and daughter of God. Amen. 
It's not because you, but because you did, but because of the Son did on the cross. And what happens then? I want to close with this. Because of his perfect work on the cross, he conquered the devil and governed the game of the cross. Now listen. Go. But when the, uh, he cancelled the record of the charges, that's why this is the gospel, okay? He cancelled the record of the charges against us and took it away by nailing it to the cross. So all your sins today, all your sins, past tense, present, future, all are already nailed on the cross of Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. You don't have a bad record in heaven. Amen. Never. You have only a good record in heaven. Because of this. Look at it. He cancelled the record of the charges against us. You, God don't want to charge anymore. To charge you anymore. God don't want to punish you anymore. Because it's done deal. How he can you charge us that you not do nothing? How he can charge you? Never. And he put everything in the cross of Jesus Christ. Look at this. Took it away by nailing it to the cross. Today when you receive the Holy Communion, as Jesus was nailed on the cross, you know your sins are already nailed on that cross. Amen? Amen. No charges against you again. Never. Say to your neighbors, God don't charge me anymore. Say it. In this way, look at this. <coughs> In this way, what kind of way? On the cross. In this way, he disarmed the spiritual rules and authorities. He sent them publicly. He sent them publicly by his victory over them on the cross. So listen, church. When you see cross of Jesus Christ today, whatever you, see, you can see the cross, that is the victory of Jesus over everything. Amen. He victories over everything. And because of this, people, because of this, He places you to the place of, uh, to the position of provision. What kind of position of provision that you have? Ephesians 2, verse 4, and we'll say, look at this. But God this is for you. After, after no charge become in you, because Jesus already did, He received everything, He governed everything today. So, He gave you this position. So that when, whatever you go, wherever you go, wherever you die, your position is always to receive the blessing, the, bless, the blessed things from God, the provision from God will hound you down. You cannot... You cannot, you cannot just uh, make hide and seek with the blessing of God. Wherever you are, the blessing comes you down. The provision is there. Amen? It's not depend on, on where you live or whatever you've done. It's not depend on that. But because it depends on Jesus Christ. Okay. Mm. Ephesians 2, verse 4 until 7. But God is so rich in mercy and He loves us so much. Amen? He loves you so much. He loves you so much. That even though we were dead because of our sins, He gave us life when He raised Christ from the dead. It is only by God's grace that you have been saved. You are made alive in Christ. For He raised us from the dead along with Christ and seated us with Him. That's what I mean. This is, you have to conscious about this once again. For He raised us from the dead. You cannot be dead anymore, people. For he raised us from the dead along with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms because we are united with Christ. Amen. So your positions today, you are sitting together with Jesus Christ in the right hand of your Father. Can you imagine what kind of provision that you have today in your life? 
You are natural. You are in terra firma. But spiritually, you are sitting together with Jesus Christ, either you like it or not. And when you know that you are sitting in the right hand from your Father, you know what kind of provision that you have in store. Amen. 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 Because we are united, united. You are not just Manchester United, okay? You are united with Christ. Manchester United sometimes lose, sometimes win, sometimes lose. But when you united with Christ, you always more than the winner. Look at this. So God can point to us in all future ages as examples of the incredible wealth of His grace and kindness towards us. You know what, what, why, why God wants to bless you? Just to say, to all these ages, this is my son and my brother, and how wealthy I am as a God. This is your God. I just talk God for Sunday morning. Amen? So, when you said, I have to try, I have to try hard, 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 hard. This is your own fault. I mean, you work because you know you are already blessed. It's different. You bless people because you already <coughs> know I am so blessed from my God. Alright, Judge? What's it? So God can point to us in all future ages as examples of the incredible wealth of His grace and kindness toward you. As shown in all he has done for us who are united with Christ Jesus. That's why I talk to you about the seal of Holy Spirit being united with Christ. Nothing can separate you from this love. Amen? Nothing at all. Neither death, neither people, neither everything is cannot separate you from love. Because the faithful thing is not because of us, but because of Jesus Christ. You are united with Christ. That's why when you are united with Christ, don't worry about your life. Amen? Don't worry about it. Say to your neighbors, we are united with Christ. Don't worry about your life. Say it. That is your provision. I want to close with this. Romans 8 verse 16. The Spirit Himself bear witness with our spirits that we are children of God. Amen. Amen. The Holy Spirit that is in you bear witness that you are the children of God. The Son of God. Say to your neighbors, I am the Son of God. I am God of God. Say, say. Son of God. And look at this. And look at this. And look at this. Because you are children of God. Because you are children of God. And if children, then what? Hires. Amen. You know what hires mean? Hires, it means you own what Jesus owned, you own it also in your life. What he owned, you own it also. When he said, I own this universe, you own this universe also. <coughs> Once again. And if children, then hires. Hires of God and fellow hires with what? With Christ Jesus. Whatever he had, provided we suffer with him in our all of them may also be glorified with him. So you are joined hires because you are the son of God. But I want to bring the message to you is like this, people. You are the son of living God. Okay? Please don't worry about your future, about what happens today, or what happens the next day, what will be happens in my life. Please don't be worried about will I receive a partner of my life? Have a, can I receive a, a, a husband or a... Don't be worried about that. God know that before you ask Him. Man, and He is a good Father. It's not Christ is more important than anything in this world. 
<coughs> it's not Christ is more important than anything in this world. So today, church, today, your position, even you are on earth, you are joined higher and seated with Christ. Satan has no legal right over your, your life. Today is conscious. Whatever happened in your life today, whatever you face, you still together with Christ. You are united with Christ. And now your position spiritually, your position spiritually, listen, you are sitting together with Christ. Together with our Father. Amen. It's done, dear people. Amen, church? Amen. Give Jesus praise to God. Now we want to receive the Holy Communion, please.